camera one, camera two, is camera two actually recorded? Um, yeah, it seems to be, okay, right. Okay, this is take one of a, <laughs> have you heard these words before, this is a brand new song. I may have made this one a little bit overcomplicated for myself. This took me 21 minutes to write and it's now taken me nearly an hour just to be able to stand up and get everything in place. Uh, for once, I've worked on the music before. Okay, I think that's about all the talky talk we're going to do. Oh, the tunings. Because if it comes out, I'll talk about it at the end of the song, but because of the nature of the music I've done on this, I mean, really, these two guitars and change the guitar in the middle of the song, I would have set my digital studio up uh, and uh, do some overdubbing, huh? Anyway, um, so, whether this comes out okay or not, um, I'm going to say that this song is inspired by a wonderful young lady called Emily. Emily asked. Hi, Emily. From Darkest Somerset. It is pretty dark. Okay, right. Um, I might have to do this. I don't know how this is going to come out. I really don't. It's been a while since I wrote a song like this because on piano. I could, I could breeze through it. Couldn't play it, but I could breeze through it. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm waiting for my legs to settle down. You don't want to see me fall over, do you? You do? Okay. <laughs> Two, three, four. Whispering to me, everything is your own fault. You're your own worst enemy. Listen to our venom. Believe the lies we say. We're here to take your self-belief and drive. circling, talent set to strike. You don't have a single friend, I wonder what that's like. No one cares about you, that's what we want you to accept. We've come to swap your happiness for a counterfeit regret. are closing in, coming at me from all sides. Your self-worth shall be our prize, you've got nowhere to hide. Let your defenses down, they cannot repel us. Look at the gifts we bring you, darkness and mistrust. They don't know how strong I am They'll never conquer me Time and time they come to call Each time with futility I sever their insidious tendrils With a sharp blade of my pure heart They think they can overpower me They don't know where to start No, they don't know how strong I am those puny, worthless snipes I cast them to their shadows With my inner light Their flowers of despair can't bloom In my soul sacred soil They can launch their self-attacks They always will be foiled No, they don't know how strong I am They're learning to their cost I might be alone at times, but never am I lost. They'll sing their malicious.
delicious mantras Hoping that I will join in I am my own army And I will always win Pixels, no offense, but you burn away pixels like there's no tomorrow. Okay, that. Oh, my beautiful son there. Ah, so this is a song that I uh, I wrote this morning. I think it might be. I, I don't know. Let me check the copyright date. It's either the second or the third of October, 2024, and that song would not have existed. Here's positivity for you. Can I just stand up here so I can see my son of the viewpoint? And he don't mind it. <laughs> Without the positivity of a wonderfully strong, uh, very creative, talented, beautifully voiced uh, young lady over in California, this song would not exist. Something that they created. Um, birthed this creation. And uh, I, I slipped away there a couple of places. Um, you see what I mean about it being two songs, you know, it's like, yeah. and, you know, kind of, the idea is it kind of takes you by surprise, so you got that. And then you've got this positive, but the thing is, you know, I, you've either got to down-tune the guitar to make the three, um, the, the three overcast um, verses, you know, to, uh, to, to their narrative point. Which means that when you go up to, <laughs> up to the positive um, chords for the three blast out in your face, no, uh, you won't take me. I'm looking at the wrong place. I'm hypnotized by my children there. This is uh, my son's, this must be your second Christmas, Dylan. Dylan and Emily, wherever you're two in the world, I want you to listen to these words and always remember these words, you know. Oh, mate, your first guitar, Dylan. I remember that one. Well, actually, it's your second guitar. Your real first guitar is the Jack Daniels semi-acoustic adult-sized guitar that I bought you when you were still in YouTube. I do apologise, I'm going off, going off message um, uh, here. Um, so, uh, but anyway, so there you go. Uh, hopefully the song will speak for itself, you know, and whenever you've got those first three verses going around, you know, these cackling harpies of doom, gloom, despair, trying to snipe away your self-worth and your self-belief, and, you know, uh, then, um, and remember the last three verses. Nah, you're nothing. You're just insidious little thoughts, and I can banish you with that. All I've got to do is look at something positive, think of something positive, think of the great art in the world. Think about a bird singing. You don't need to see a bird singing, just stop and think about a nightingale singing, or the last time you saw a robin floating down. These nasty little tendrils of despair, they're very, very weak, you know. They truly are. Uh, but they can come at you en masse. Take it from me, I know what of I sing. I have the songs to prove it. I'm the guy that wrote End Move, so, you know. But here I am, terminally ill and fighting for each breath, you know, to be an hour to stand up because my legs need strapping up. And that takes it all away. You hit that chord, you know, and all of a sudden it's gone. And so, and again, you see how this positivity, you 
you don't realize what a positive person you are until this comes to light, you know. So I've got a song now that, you know, when I'm feeling down and stuff, you know, I was not in a good mood this morning, I can tell you. It was very difficult to stand up. This wonderful lady sent me a message. I'd seen what inspired this last night, and but I didn't want to respond then because it was like midnight. <laughs> I mean, you'd be wreck at that point, you know. There should be a law against posting unless you've got, you know, you should always, I think everyone should pass the cognitive test before they're allowed to post anything, which is pretty bad news for Donald Trump, I guess, you know. Uh, but, um, sorry, I'm going to pull it. I'll make it into a joke now. Um, Where's I going with this? You know, so so what this person, Emily, um, had created from what may or may not have been afflicting her, I don't want to go into too many details of her life, that shone a light into a piece of darkness in my own life and brought this out, and hopefully that will go on somewhere else. Okay, uh, but the main thing is, and to my children, if you're out there watching this ever at any point, I haven't seen this footage back and I don't know how long, guys. I just wanted you in the background of this one instead of my normal cute cats. Ah. You are you. And that's enough. That, that's, that's all you need. That's fantastic. That really is fantastic. The ex it's extraneous, like, you know. Um, anything you want to think about, you know, from online bullying to what's going down in your house, maybe, and how people are misconstruing what you say and do, uh, and everything like that. Uh, so you might have that bad apple thought in there, and just pick it up and throw it out, and it will not corrupt the rest of it. Okay? It's difficult. It's easy to say. Easy to sing. Well... With that key change, Whitney Houston could sing this song, you know. Uh, I can't. Uh, you see where I'm going? I'm hoping at least I'm not explaining it very well. I look better on paper than the song that I do in real life. Take them out. It's very easy to say all this stuff, but it's easy to do as well. But it's finding that method and means, and there's all different methods in media. I'm like Donald Trump, you know, hands and everything. I um, do apologize. So, I've talked enough. I'm going to do a slow take now to try and get the words down. Peace and love. And thank you again, the wonderful MES. I nearly fell over my microphone cable then. Wouldn't that have been a great end of that song? You know, so all this talking, sing the song, and then, doink. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're so mean. <laughs> thank for your humour. <laughs>